Hey there, YouTube, MS Firefighter 662 here. By popular demand, bringing you a video on the T700 series turbo shaft engine, commonly used in the Black Hawk Apache, and I believe the Abrams tank has got a wide variety of applications. Uh, it's rated horsepower, it depends on which model you have and uh, how much money you want to spend to have it rated to that power, uh, anywhere from 1500 up to 3000 shaft horsepower. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, check out the video I have on the how the gas turbine engine works in the Bell 206. It's uh, pretty popular and that's where most of the comments come uh, requesting the video on this. So, starting at the front, we have the uh, intake, we have the accessory gearbox, compressor, combustor, it's an annular type, goes all the way around. Thank you Agent JZ for helping me understand what that means. If you haven't seen his videos, a uh, phenomenal channel on, the, uh, on all types of gas turbine engines, especially uh, aircraft and industrial type. So, we've got the uh, power turbines here. This one here drives the compressor, and then this one here drives the high-speed shaft that uh, is not depicted here, but comes out front to the input module of the helicopter or whatever application you use. So, as you can see, we've got these inlet guide vanes here. They're at an angle. It starts to strictly spin the air outwards, and it's helped to uh, se separate the... Uh, debris, dust, whatever's in the atmosphere. It's collected here, and then uh, with the inlet part of the separator, there's another little uh, triple fan in there, a blower, and it helps push that debris overboard. So now we come in, we've got the cleaner. The air that's clean, we've got uh, five centrifugal, correction, five axial, and one centrifugal uh, compressor section for an overall compressor ratio, and again, thanks Agent Jay-Z, of about 17 to one. So we've got this compressed air here, and you can kind of see it comes in and we've got our combustor right here here's the red cut away there is the liner and you see a fuel nozzle there should be about 12 of these uh, on this this engine so most of the air is going outside of the combustor to help keep this thing cool so about only 30 percent of the compressed air is actually used uh, to mix with the fuel and uh, create that fire heat the rest of the 70 percent is used to cool the back section here so that fire or that expanding gas comes in and strikes the uh, first power turbine here and that is connected directly to the compressor. You'll see that in motion here in a second. So that expanding gas continues to go outward. You can see the passageway continually increases in uh, width as so do the turbines get wider. And that way the expanding gas is less energy. We need more surface area to uh, collect that energy as it is uh, pushed forward or back through the engine. So we've got, um, this is the uh, power control levers. It would be set up in the Black Hawk. We've got our start buttons here. Power control levers are in idle. We've got our emergency off handle full forward. Our fuel selector levers are full forward. would be in the cross feed section. So if I depress the starter button, what it will do is take air from whatever air source you're using. That pneumatic starter right here. You see there's a little turbine in here. So that air strikes that turbine and then it's turn drives the accessory gearbox. And that through the power takeoff shaft, PTO shaft, drives the compressor or the NG section here and gets things going. So here we go. Got our turbine going. You see all our gears slowly moving in there. Coming through the shaft, compressor section. And we've got it set up. We're ready to introduce some fuel. Take one of these power controllers idle. Fuel is introduced. You can imagine the fire right here, the expanding gas. It is now striking the power turbine and so now our voters are spinning or whatever you have this application and things are going to go through the process on another engine, get it going. This would be engine two, we're starting engine one, and the one's already operating, go through the process and the other have it. So this trainer should uh, time out by itself and stop pumping. So I took the power control over to idle, the fuel is stopped, the power turbine slows down. We got the uh, NG slowly winding down whenever the uh, motor turns off. So, I hope you guys can hear me over that noise. Uh, parts and pieces we've got a uh, fuel filter, it's a liquid to liquid cooler. It helps uh, cool the oil and preheat the fuel. The starter, the HMU, pumps the fuel through the fuel nozzles. I think it pumps up to about 600 some odd psi. At a pretty high volume. We burn about 15 pounds a minute at cruise flight for dual engines, about 900 pounds an hour, and what you have. So, it's a quick overview of the T700 series engine and how it works. 
If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section down below. Uh, suggestions for new videos, let me know. I'll try my best to facilitate. And as always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.